that were coming here for the first time and some people from Bermuda. Ashley Kilroy is in charge of the marijuana policy for the city of Denver. She admits that pot has helped put the Mile High City on the map for a whole new group of tourists. She says their increase in tourism is not all about the pot. We had one of our best tourism years last year. We had about 14 million visitors generating about $4 billion in revenue. But when we look at that, a lot of that was convention driven and a lot of those conventions had been booked out 10 years in advance. And what we're hearing is, you know, for the access to the outdoors, good dining options and cultural experiences. Those in the business at any level sing its praises. Almost every hotel room in, in central Denver was sold out last week. And that says a lot about the fact that we have people coming from all over the world to experience uh, a 420 weekend, if you will, in the state of Colorado. Well, April 20th is a sure sellout here, but they say now that pot is legal for recreational use, they're seeing a shadow effect they can bank on. And then you look around the city of Denver, we're seeing record construction, record real estate. Uh, and then our unemployment number has just been going way down. It's just right around 4%. And there's another side to that success. That's gentrification. The common people, the workers that they're barely making it, they cannot afford to live in Denver. If you don't have a, a master's or a PhD, what kind of job are we getting, you know? In fact, Tobias says he thought he was helping when he voted recreational marijuana in. But now he feels, for him, it's backfired. I see that it's affecting the poor communities and the communities of color. You have to have money to live in Denver, and the majority of the people that live in Denver are upper-class white people. Now, gentrification is something that's hard to avoid when you seem to such a big influx of money like they're seeing from the industry there. More on the jobs available, on their high-level, specialized jobs, from all of that from growing to sales. And that's tomorrow night's focus. It's the cultivation and the cash involved. Covering the story, Aaron Breen, Channel 2 News.